Alright you guys, welcome back in. We're currently doing the Temple of Purgation. This is a very survivor side map. I'm gonna go to the middle map and try and work on the right hand side generator. If the killer does not have a fast momentum, he's gonna be in a bit of trouble. We're looking at a hillbilly and hillbilly moves at 230% movement speed while he pulls his chainsaw out. Now you'll notice I'm just gonna cuddle the wall. I'm not even gonna try and cover this too tight. Okay, he's got a very small heartbeat. Turning up my volume a little bit. Looks like he's gonna be running monitor and abuse on a hillbilly. So he normally has a 32 meter heartbeat, but it's gonna be a little bit small. I'm gonna keep going through the board and I'm gonna be looking for a jungle gym where I can utilize a pallet as well as a window, not just uh, one or the other. So I know he's really close behind me because he has monitor and abuse. That's good. Gonna sidestep, sidestep. Gonna go for the fast fault. There you go. Got the swing. Let's see what he does. Left, right, left, right, through. Oh, he went around. Good for you. I took bad pathing. I'm not gonna give this to him. I'm gonna take a hit and I'm gonna leave. Alright, I didn't need to. He just spun around. Now, the way that worked was because I didn't even look at him. If I looked at him, it would have went a little bit different, yeah? Now, let's do it again. Okay, cool. So, we baited the window out. I'm going to go round, play it safe, rather than tight, yeah? He's going to have bloodlust to be very close to it. I'm going to just dip if I can't see him again. Alright, we see him here. Going to give him a free pallet now. We got him for... Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to give him this, unless I take a hit. One or the other. No, he swung too early, so we'll go round for another loop, right? We're just going to be paying attention to him. He's losing multiple generators. Makes me think he does not have access to... Ruin. Cool, so we're gonna look for another generator. He committed it a little bit too long to a chase and he didn't get anything out of it. He got no ruin. He, well, he, he got no hits, he got no pallets, he got nothing. If he had enduring, he didn't get to use it either. Managed to loop him for a little bit, he would have bloodlust. He reset bloodlust by not getting anything out of me. He chased me for more than 15 seconds in chase, therefore bloodlust was active. Give him an additional 5% movement speed, putting him on 120%. He should have got a hit, should have got a pallet, then rotated, so that was a mistake made by him. So we're going to work on the generator here. I know there's a fire behind me which distracts me from landing my grades. So I'm not even going to be looking at it. I'm not going to be able to, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to make too many rap call callouts based on what I cannot see anything happening apart from looking in the bottom left hand corner. He is chasing another player who was my Feng Min and he is no longer in chase with her. Looks like he broke a pallet on her and now he's going to be pulling up a chainsaw going for a hit on her and she's going to be trying to spin him. I can't actually see this but this is my visual indicator that I'm getting from the bottom left hand side of the screen. I know he has modern abuse as well so he has a smaller heartbeat and he's probably going to be running enduring because he was running through every pallet. He might have been doing that because he had access to bloodlust either. I'm not 100% sure. But monitor generally goes hand in hand with Discordance and Pop with Barbecue, but I'm not 100% sure, but we can recount on him running Barbecue. I personally, when I play Hillbilly, I prefer Infectious Fright, Pop Goes the Weasel, and Thrilling Tremor, as opposed to Barbecue and Chili, but that is based on no add-ons. He's gonna have a little bit of a look at where my teammate went down. Can't see because of the fire, so I'm guessing, there you go, he, he went down over there. Could get it a lock and a hide from the killer, but I'm not too worried about him coming over here either. I'm gonna be able to keep pressure on the killer, regardless of what actually happens. I got a pretty good jungle gym. He's in the basement. I've got a teammate above the basement. Kendrick's going to be able to allow me to know that I've got pressure on the right-hand side. The killer is not coming over right now. and He's looking for the teammate around. As long as this guy does not make a mistake near that, we're going to be in a decent spot. Yeah? Looks like he's made a mistake. He's already been spinning. I'm going to finish this journey. I'm going to run across the board. Or even if that guy takes a hit... He got chainsawed through the window. If they're both in the basement, we're in deep trouble. Yeah? If they're both in the basement. I can go to the basement, but it will literally be a trade with him. If he doesn't hook him in the basement, that's going to be really good. Now, if this killer plays this correctly, he will camp this. Now, that's, that nobody wants to be camped, but I understand his win condition right now is force death on both these guys. I do not have access to BT either. Do I have a nearby Jenny to work on? Do I even have a pallet out here? I don't even have a pallet over here. Got to look down while he comes around the corner. I left scratch marks too, which is very intimidating. I know his win condition is not leaving, and I don't expect him to leave. Remember, he's got one on abuse. I reckon he's coming straight back in. He did a long chainsaw. He might have actually went into holes in the game. I got mad respect for that. That was really well played by him. Gotta sidestep the saw and then... Gotta cuddle the wall. No, nope, don't need to. You gotta take the window. I'm gonna take the back parting then. Gotta cycle around the wide. Alright, now one of my teammates is an obsession, so he either has object or DS, highly likely. As he's gone to the corner of Matt and Claudette's managed to evade him. I need him to kind of see me and not Claudette, so I'm gonna kind of crouch walk here so he gr comes towards me. I'm, I'm not gonna fast vault from my angle. But he's chasing Claudette. That's okay. I got a little bit too close to the Jenny. I can work on this. It's in a bad spot based on where Claudette's looping. I'm going to go from this angle. That way I can make a loop around this and bait the window. Now, I know the killer's chasing him, which is good. One of them is the obsession, so he might have DS. I do not know if this guy has DS, though. He's picking him up. He's risking a lot for the biscuit. He should have left him on the ground in case he did have DS. Rather not take a gamble right now when you have one Jenny left. I know I've got a teammate down there working on a generator. Looks like killer's in a bit of trouble. I'm going to wait here. This is a bit of a silly spot. And he hits me with Noed and on a chainsaw hit. So in case you didn't know, Noed works uh, without the chainsaw hit. So that's unfortunate. I went down. I waited for it. Looks like the other boys probably won't be coming in. That's going to wrap it up. So even though I played that game near flawlessly, we still end up dead because of the unbalanced nature of Noed. Now, that being said, he would have downed me anyways with the chainsaw. However, he's going to be moving an additional 4% movement speed with Noed. I don't expect either of these two guys to come in. So like they always say, sometimes you've got to help yourself.
That's unfortunate, boys. I could have, I could have left. I didn't think he'd be running no ed though. That's my fault. I'm, I'm just gonna die on hook because I don't want either of these two guys coming in to try and save me and die against the camping Billy, who they can see on Kindred, so they know that he's not leaving. They don't have enough time to run around the board, break the totem, and save him. Look at the time left on the other guy. So rather than risk their lives as well, I'm gonna die on hook. My first hook. Which is unfortunate in the basement. It's my fault. I could have just left. But I chose to stay there and wait to assist my teammate. But uh, all in all, I guess that's a quick game. A quick game is a good game of DVD at rank 1. So GG's well played. And if you guys are watching this one over YouTube, don't hesitate to come up with a follow. Or uh, pop into the live streams that happen here on Twitch. I do stream DVD five days a week. And uh, I'm a killer main, but we walk through survivor gameplay as well. And we try and do some educational content. So GG's well played.